afternoon, my brothers and sisters from all over Mother Earth. This Casaday, Wednesday, from the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. Here in Abidjania, the heart of Brazil, this magnificent high vibration pouring forth across the globe, filling our hearts with love and light so we can walk this challenging path together as one heart. Brothers and sisters, interconnected, all part of the same shining web, the God Consciousness. Today is Holy Wednesday in Orthodox churches celebrating Christ anointing the apostles with blessed oil, healing their spiritual infirmities and giving them the gift of spiritual healing so they too could go forth and heal the spiritual wounds of the believers. We are all called to be apostles of the Christ consciousness of love. And today we honour a beautiful entity of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the godfather of spiritism, Chico Xavier, a humble man who dedicated his life entirely towards loving us, his brothers and sisters. And Chico Xavier channeled a message from Dr. Baziri de Menezes, which led Medium Joao to establish the Casa on this sacred ground of Abidjania. So as we are in gratitude to another beautiful day on earth, to learn the lessons we came here to learn in this, the school of life, these lessons may seem overwhelming, but we have so much help from beyond the veil. We need to just reach out and ask all of these entities of light and love to be with us, walking beside us on this challenging path on earth. Try to be as comfortable as you possibly can Don't cross your body in any way, just be open to receive. Open your hearts. This is our mission on Earth. And as we close our physical eyes, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see everything beyond appearances the bigger picture, all there is. We are reminded again and again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We are not the body. We're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. Our brother, Chico Xavier, was a prolific writer and he psychographed almost 500 books from the spirit world. 
teaching us all about the Christ consciousness and that death does not exist. The most famous of these books being Nosselar, Our Home, an account of life beyond the veil. What happens when we leave these physical bodies and we are liberated into our spiritual homes? Chico Xavier was known for his charity and he disincarnated in 2002 at 92 years of age, passing on as he had entered the world, materially poor. He donated all of the money he earned from his teachings and writings to charity, to help the poor. He left a legacy of rich and enlightening writings to help us to lead a good Christian holy life. He tells us when we have faith and discipline, everything becomes easier. Patience is the mother of all virtues. With anxiety, all of our lives are hard to live and become worse. He tells us that Jesus Christ did not ask much from us. He did not demand that people climb Mount Everest or make great sacrifices. Jesus just asked that we love one another. They who pray with faith have fervor and fervor is the fire of prayer. This mysterious fire has the power of consuming all of our faults and imperfections and of giving to our actions vitality, beauty and merit. Chico Xavier tells us, though nobody can go back and make a new beginning, anyone can start over and make a new ending. And it is with this hope in our hearts. Painful endings are new beginnings. We pray to the God of our lives. When we suffer, and there seems to be a lot of suffering right now on earth, we turn to God Almighty. We pray. We are asking for help. God did not bring us this far to abandon us, his children. God didn't tell us it would be easy. He told us it would be worth it. Don't tell God you have a big problem. Tell your problem you have a big God. Prayer is the oxygen of the soul. Prayer is the spark that ignites us on our healing journey back home to the celestial fields. By praying, we learn to pray. Why worry when you can pray? Worrying is useless. Worrying is only praying for what you don't want. So let's change this vibration in an instant and put our hearts and souls into asking God Almighty to help us all carnish and disincarnate on our healing journey back home into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, 
one soul, one light, one love. As we say the prayer of Caritas, divine love. Love is all there is. Love never ends. We are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. And we offer this almighty vibration upwards towards the heavens. Asking. That the God of our lives somehow alleviates the suffering of humanity, helping us to keep our hearts open and to find the peace and the harmony and the tranquility and the gratitude and the love and the forgiveness deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings. As we walk the path together, brothers and sisters, the path of the Christ consciousness, let us pray trustingly, without ceasing, with open hearts, joyfully, happily. O oh, Father, Mother, God, Sacred Trinity of innumerable names, provide strength to those who are experiencing pain and anguish. Give light to those who seek the truth. Fill the human heart with compassion and love. God, give the traveller the star that guides. Solace to those in pain. And rest to the sick and weary. Father, give the guilty repentance. The spirit, the truth. Give the child guidance. The orphan, a parent. Lord, let your goodness encompass everything that you have created. Clemency, my God, to those who do not know you. Hope to those who are in pain. Let your will allow the consoling spirits to spread peace, hope and faith everywhere. God, may a single ray of light, a spark of your divine love, blaze this earth. Let us drink from the fountain of that infinite and fruitful goodness and all tears will be dried and all pain lessened. A single heart, a single thought will rise to you like a cry of gratitude and love. Like Moses on the mountain, we await you with open arms. O oh, Almighty, O oh, Greatness, All Powerful, All Beauty, All Perfection. And we wish in some way to receive your mercy. 
God, grant us the power to help progress, that we may rise up to you. Give us pure love. Give us faith and reason. Give us humility and simplicity that will make our hearts and our souls the mirror on which your divine image reflects. And so be it. Amen.
the silence of our hearts, God speaks to us. Silent and listen have the same letters. Earth and heart have the same letters. God speaks to us always and in all ways. We just need to open our hearts to receive the word of God. And God speaks vibration. As we raise our vibration here now dedicating ourselves to this work of surrender and grace, we automatically lift the vibration of the entire planet so everyone wins. Thank all of you brothers and sisters from all over Mother Earth for coming together in love and in service for all things for the greater glory of God. As we come, become aware of each and every precious breath that we take. Breath is life itself. Taking nothing for granted, absolutely and utterly everything in the universe without exception is God given. I asked God, the giver and the taker of life for all things that I might enjoy life. God said, I will give you life so that you may enjoy all things. Slow, gentle, deep, deep breaths into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in more and more and more divine light from the everlasting source of all light. Permitting this magnificent love light to penetrate our very being here now, mind, body, spirit, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and much, much more. to walk the path of light now on earth. Remembering this beautiful light, becoming this high vibration, becoming lighter. With each precious breath pouring forth from our open hearts, filling Mother Earth with this highly vibrational, strong, sure, pure, crystal clear, divine light. Showering a gift of purification, illumination and transformation upon all of our brothers and sisters, carnate and disincarnate, in these challenging times on the planet. And as we immerse ourselves in this magnificent work, knowing we are not alone, we need to see beyond appearances, the bigger picture, all there is. You that came down to earth for one more experience in this body. You never failed to be a citizen of the universe. Your true nature is not this or that place. Rather, 
It is the infinite. You may remember many lives in various places, but you are a spiritual awareness that neither is born or dies, just goes in and out of perishable bodies. You have the face of a person, but your real face is the face of spiritual light. You lay in the physical body in bed every night, but it is not in it, even if you do not know it. And when you return to the body, you cannot remember it. However, at all times you are yourself, regardless of being inside or outside of the body. Realize that your spiritual awareness or essence is a being of light, an eternal traveler, and that nothing can limit your progress or condition in this or that body, or this or that life or this or that situation. You carry the fire star on your chest. You are not black, white, red or yellow. You are the race of light. Light beings working with the very essence of your being, becoming lighter. You are a partner of the stars. You always have been. You are currently housed in a dense body borrowed from Mother Earth. So thank her for the opportunity to learn something good while you are in this body and properly handle the vehicle of clay that Mother Earth has lent to you. Keep your feet on the ground, but remain connected to the higher realms where your best inspirations come from. Just as the boat can enter the river, but the river cannot enter the boat, because then it will sink. Enter the world, but do not let the things of the world sink your boat and drown your spiritual awareness. Live your life as it has to be lived. You are more than you think. Nothing happens from night to day. It takes effort and patience and anxiety for sure will poison your best intentions. You are a citizen of the universe, always was and always will be. Remember this. May peace, love and light reign in your hearts and in the hearts of humanity, now and forevermore. And so be it. Amen.
our dogs playing their part, singing in chorus. God is dog backwards. So we're working certainly with the Christ and the God consciousness always on earth. Everything has a vibration. We embrace it all. Thank each and every one of you, brothers and sisters, from all over Mother Earth for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light and your love to be in service to walk this difficult path in human form now on earth we're never given anything we cannot handle and we chose to be here hard and all as that may seem to grasp we are the warriors of the light And we are the ones we have been waiting for. We were born to do this work. These are the lessons we have come here on earth to learn in these physical bodies. And a lesson will be repeated again and again until it is learned. We have so much help from the celestial fields. Our brother Chico Xavier, who is always with us, is walking with us now with our brother Jesus in these challenging times on earth. He told us that when he passed over, I will be with God and we will pass by your house and we will take away all of your problems. We have a lot to learn from these beautiful entities of light and love. These are the Christian principles that Chico Xavier channeled while on earth, teaching us how to walk this path of light. Always help. Do not fear. Never despair. Learn incessantly. Think often. Meditate more. Speak little, correct lovingly, direct sensibly, obey contentedly, do not complain, go forward. Observe beyond. Look ahead. Discuss serenely. Shed light. Sow peace. Spread blessings. Struggle elevating. Be happy. Live confidently. Show courage. Reveal calmness. 
respect everything. Pray trustingly. Be watchful with benevolence. Go forth progressing. Serve today and await tomorrow.
Thank you, brothers and sisters from all over Mother Earth for your choice to be in service and love in all things for the greater glory of God. It's only a choice between love and fear. So in each and every moment, let's keep choosing love, peace, harmony, compassion, forgiveness, joy, abundance, and more and more love. Love, loving, love. And we've come to a very special and important time for us now, all of us connecting together as one heart. We are open to receive after giving of our positive loving energies. As you give, so it will be given you. We are now receiving a deep, deep, deep cleansing from these beautiful entities of light and love. This is a unique opportunity to let go of all denser energies that no longer serve us from this lifetime and indeed past lifetimes known or unknown to us. As we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our anger, our grudges, our resentments, anything that's not from the light, handing all of this over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this heavier energy into divine light as we become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. If you'd like to visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa de Dominacio, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature, big blue butterflies cleansing us and helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees cleansing our oxygen. Carpets of magnificent, colourful flowers giving off a divine perfume. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine orchestra and crystal clear waters embodying the colours of the rainbow. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything and everything that's holding us back, stopping us from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. And let's bring our brother Medium Chihuahua into this high vibration. We are in gratitude to this extraordinary man for founding the Casa de Dominacio on the instructions of Chico Xavier. Over 41 years ago, helping to heal millions, carnate and disincarnate. And let's bring our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies into this high vibration also. They need to be liberated into the light. And as we receive this magnificent cleansing healing energy from on high, pouring into our open hearts, Let's share this magnificent love light with all of our brothers and sisters all over the planet. Pouring forth into hospitals, into the hands of our angel doctors and nurses and all of our healthcare professionals and all of our brothers and sisters working on the front line. Allowing this magnificent love light to pour into nursing homes, 
helping our elders into prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere and everywhere on planet Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering or in pain or are hungry. Allowing this magnificent high vibration to pour forth into the war zones, bringing peace and harmony in our lifetimes. To God, all things are possible. Into the migrant camps, helping to liberate our brothers and sisters, recognizing we're all the same brothers and sisters in the light, interconnected, all part of the same shining web. Children of God, allowing this magnificent high vibration to pour forth into the consciousness of our government leader, leaders now more than ever. We need them to make good decisions about our future and the future of our children and their children and on and on. Allowing this pristine, crystal clear love light to pour forth into Mother Earth, our ecosystems. They're already recovering. Hallelujah. Praise God. Enveloping Mother Earth, this magnificent high vibration, pouring into the universe, cleansing and healing all beings as it grows and multiplies into the universe.
It is with gratitude in our open hearts that we receive this magnificent cosmic Christ energy from on high pouring into our open hearts as we share this magnificent high vibration with all of our brothers and sisters who are suffering on earth. We are in gratitude to God Almighty to all of these magnificent entities of light and love. To our brother, Chico Xavier, walking with our brother, Jesus, for this magnificent opportunity this afternoon. And thank each and every one of you all over Mother Earth for your love light. And as we close this work knowing that the entities continue working with us 24-7, they never leave us. We listen to the words of our brother, Chico Xavier. God is my father. Nature is my mother. The universe is my path. Eternity is my kingdom. Immortality is my life. My mind is my home. My heart is my temple. The truth is my learning. And love is my law. Namaste.